In anger we should refrain both from speech and action. Concern should drive us into action and not into a depression. No man is free who cannot control himself. Be silent or let thy words be worth more than silence. Silence is better than unmeaning words. Learn silence with the quiet serenity of a meditative mind, listen, absorb, transcribe, and transform. The oldest, shortest words, yes and no, are those which require the most thought. It is better to be silent than to dispute with the ignorant. Rest satisfied with doing well, and leave others to talk of you as they please. The wise man should be prepared for everything that does not lie within his control. If there be light, then there is darkness. Let exercise alternate with rest. Number is the within of all things. Some are slaves of ambition or money, but others are interested in understanding life itself. Wisdom, thoroughly learned, will never be forgotten. Friendship is one soul in two bodies. Don't try to cover your mistakes with false words, rather, correct your mistakes with examination. Choose rather to be strong of soul than strong of body. Astonishing everything is intelligent. Choose always the way that seems the best, however rough it may be. The soul of man is divided into three parts, intelligence, reason, and passion. Time is the soul of this world. A man is never as big as when he is on his knees to help a child. There are only two remedies for the suffering of the soul, hope and patience. Anger begins in folly, and ends in repentance. Numbers have a way of taking a man by the hand and leading him down the path of reason. Strength of mind rests in sobriety, for this keeps your reason unclouded by passion. Hate and fear breed a poison in the blood, therefore, it is not wise to hear and remember the unkind things others might say about you. Do not talk a little on many subjects, but much on a few. Remind yourself that all men assert that wisdom is the greatest good, but that there are few who strenuously seek out that greatest good. Let no one persuade you by word or deed to do or say whatever is not best for you. Assist a man in raising a burden, but do not assist him in laying it down. Practice justice in word and deed, and do not get in the habit of acting thoughtlessly about anything. Friends are as companions on a journey who ought to aid each other to persevere in the road to a happier life. Thought is an idea in transit, which when once released, never can be lured back. You should make great things, not promising great things. Write in the sand the flaws of your friend. It is difficult to walk at one and the same time many paths of life. He buries gold who hides the truth. Ability and necessity dwell near each other. 
When the wise man opens his mouth, the beauties of his soul present themselves to the view. Do not even think of doing what ought not to be done. A blow from your friend is better than a kiss from your enemy. Love that shines from within cannot be darkened by obstacles of the world of consequences. There are in woman's eyes two sorts of tears, the one of grief, the other of deceit. Without justice, no realm may prosper. Power is the near neighbor of necessity. He is not rich, that enjoyeth not his own goods. Consider before acting, to avoid foolishness. It is the worthless man who speaks and acts thoughtlessly. Truth is to be sought with a mind purified from the passions of the body. Do not spend in excess like one who is careless of what is good, nor be miserly, the mean is best in every case. Praise those who excel in a certain good. Envy has been, is, and shall be, the destruction of many. Few are the ones who know how to secure release from their troubles. Tutor youth that the sins of age be not imputed to thee. Many words befall men, mean and noble alike. Do not be astonished by them, nor allow yourself to be constrained. One must choose in all things a mean just and good.